A man was arrested and has been charged for a stabbing attack in Mount Lebanon. Police tell us the victim was slashed across the throat with a box cutter. Pam Serrano is live at UPMC Mercy with an update for us on the victim's condition. Good evening to you, Pam. Good evening to you, Julie. Police say that victim is so fortunate that his wounds are not life threatening after police say he was cut very deeply across the throat by an assailant using a box cutter, as you said, at his home today. Mount Lebanon officers say the call to police from this home in the 500 block of Pat Haven Drive came in at 11:30 Friday morning. They were first called here for a home invasion, but it turned out, according to Chief Aaron Loth, it wasn't. This was not a random type event. This was a, an event where the uh, the victim did invite the suspect to his residence. When officers arrived, they found the 53-year-old victim with a severe throat laceration holding a towel to the front of his neck. We believe that if it would have been probably a little bit deeper of a cut, it would have been much more significant in terms of his injuries. The criminal complaint states there was blood on the victim's chest, stomach, arms and pants, as well as the victim's hands and the floor. The victim told police a man who he knew became aggressive, pulled his head backwards and cut his neck using a box cutter. The victim was then able to grab the box cutter away from his assailant who then fled from the home. The suspect that had actually intended to rob the victim of some credit cards and that was how sort of it all it all worked out with uh, the stabbing. 24 year old Darius William Johnson was apprehended minutes later. He is charged with attempted criminal homicide, aggravated assault, robbery and possessing the instruments of a crime. Now the victim is here in stable condition at Mercy Hospital. Amazingly, as he was loaded into the ambulance by medics, he was driven to the intersection where that assailant was apprehended and he was able to identify him, according to police, before he was taken here to Mercy. Now police aren't saying how the two men knew each other, only that the investigation is continuing and Johnson is at the Allegheny County Jail tonight. We're live at Mercy Hospital. Pam Serrano, KDKA News.